Kensington Palace is it about to be sold off by His Royal Highness Prince Charles? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. As ever, lovely to have your company today. What a glorious spring-like day, eh? A lot of people ask me, you know, where do you get to during the day? All over London, in fact. You know, the other day I must share, well, I will share with you very soon. I found a cinema that was very big in a basement that is now a shop, a bookstore. I love finding history like that, don't you? Particularly when you've seen major stars descend down those stairs. I wonder what they think now to just walking in and seeing cheap discounted books and royal family gossip. You know the ones I mean. <laughs> Do I need to say any more? But back, of course, to your breaking royal story of the day. It's interesting to know, isn't it? Because we're all sort of now, shall we say, being seen a lot of things being passed over by our gracious majesty, the Queen, to other senior members of the British monarchy. We see a lot more of Prince Charles and Camilla, who've just had a very successful tour, of course. And we see a lot more active work from His Royal Highness Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. And rightly so, the monarch really does need to take it a little bit easier at 95 years of age. But now there's all this speculation, basically because His Royal Highness Prince Charles has said he wants to streamline the monarchy, and it's a very good idea, and much welcomed actually over here in the United Kingdom. But what about all those palatial palaces and homes? Well, there was a story going around recently that Prince Charles plans to decommission Kensington Palace because you know there wouldn't necessarily be that much need for it everybody would either be based at Windsor Buckingham Palace or indeed their own private homes like Highgrove now we went into great detail and contacted people at the palace to find this story out and it's interesting isn't it because you know when you think about it Kensington Palace really is historical it goes way back and of course it was the training ground for one of the greatest monarchs of all time Queen Victoria and let's not forget, latterly, it was the former home of the wonderful and gracious Princess Diana. So many people visit Kensington Palace simply because of Diana, even to this day. Some wonderful exhibitions there, by the way, and you do get to see a rare insight into what it must be like to live there. What's interesting in Kensington Palace, though, it also homes former royal servants and active royal servants now. So what's the true story behind that? Is it tabloid gossip? Or will Prince Charles be decommissioning a former royal palace? Let me tell you the plan. It's always been looked at. Right now, there are no plans to decommission Kensington Palace. What he thinks may be useful in the future is that this could become something of a royal museum. Now, we know it was a plan that he sort of muted around for Buckingham Palace, but that was soon slapped down. It's too seen as a, sort of a, an historical place, if you like, Buckingham Palace, and rightly so. You know, that famous balcony, if you're able to traipse on that, where's the reality of that, you know? People like a bit of mystery, as, of course, our gracious monarch, Queen Elizabeth, has stated previously. So for Prince Charles's bigger plans, if they were true, to decommission Kensington Palace, well, here, you could hear it here first, it's simply not happening any time soon. Hope that allays any fears for anybody who's planning on visiting Kensington Palace or indeed London in the future. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.